Thank you for choosing this podcast. This is a working class production. We missed all of you. And um, I just want to say, this is Claire. I appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been giving us. Yeah. It's just that... um, we're not too technologically savvy. So <laughs> we haven't been able to make the comments, um, comment back or whatever. Right. But um, Sam forgot her damn password. I know we've been locked out. <laughs> we've been locked out. Um, so we're going to definitely make comments if you guys comment on this um, podcast. This one's right. one that's near and dear to my heart. It's about non reciprocated favors or in a relationship. Yes. Or just non just. You do something for one person and then they don't because you treat them another like one way and you think you're treating them good. Right. They don't give you the same. Um, they don't give it back. To they you. don't give it back to you. The question is, how long does one stay in this relationship and make excuses for this behavior? Right. You know, what is their it, excuse? What is your mindset? Why right. am I giving you so much leeway and you're not and you're not giving me anything back? Right. Nothing back. <laughs> right so for instance i'll say so if okay so what is non-reciprocated favors i wouldn't necessarily say um they don't have to always be favors they could just be actions right so um for instance i was in a relationship recently oh. and we are no longer in that relationship they're no longer of, together <laughs> because of this exact topic mm -hmm. for instance um he would always go through my phone he would read my text messages right um because I'm open. I have right. nothing to hide. Right. I would always. Hide. So you're like, baby, here's mm -hmm. my um, password right. and my username. Right. Or like, I wouldn't even say like, he would just be sitting there and like my phone would go off. Right. And I would say, oh, can you check that? And he'd be like, okay, what's your code? And I told him my code. Right. And you know, my phone would just be sitting there and like, he'll just go through my text messages and I wouldn't care. Right. Cause it is what it is. I have nothing to hide. Right. Even though like in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, well, why are you going through my text messages? But whatever this nigga <laughs> used to, <laughs> if I was sitting next to him and he was on his phone, he was like tilt the phone the other way. So I couldn't see, see y'all. he mm. would turn his phone off at night and then put it in the drawer while what? we were sleeping. What? That's oh how. Oh my gosh, you yes. never told me that. Yes, he used to That's put it so in the bad. drawer. You never told me that. Yes, he used to put it in the drawer. And it, it didn't change until I confronted him. And it was on him. silent? And it was always on vibrate. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know, hindsight it's is 2020. Back memory. Yes, it's bringing it's, it's hasn't been that long ago since we broke up. Right. Motherfucker. But um, yeah, so I would. So. To me, when I first saw that, I was just like, what, the, what in the world is, what is going on? Right. You know, like I didn't think too much of it. Right. Until I and asked him. And you're in love. You're thinking, okay, well, he'll this probably just something give that he me does. his password and username exactly. tomorrow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and it's not like I'm expecting it. It's just that whenever my phone dings, you want to know who it is. Right. I never hear your phone ding because it's on vibrate. Right. You know what I mean? So, oh my gosh, this is bad. It is bad. Yeah. So, um, and mm -hmm. I tell you who it is because I don't, I don't mind. It's my mom. It's my dad. It's it's my daughter's dad or whatever. Because I finally noticed, like, okay, this is odd. Right. Not only is he turning his phone off on at night and it's on vibrate, but he's putting the bitch in the drawer. And he could at least put it on silent, right? So you got to know it's on vibrate and it's going off, right, <laughs> right, right, and it's in the drawer. <laughs> right. Literally, he will put it in the drawer. That makes it even worse, <laughs> girl. So I said, well, why are you putting your phone in the drawer, right. and why are you turning your phone off? He never gave me an excuse why he was putting his phone in the drawer. He said, well, it's what well, he did. He said, well, it's just habit because I had a girlfriend who went through my phone before. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, lo and behold, you you always go through my phone. Right. I've never gone through your phone. I'm not her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Now you you make me want to go through your phone. So oh I said, God. but why is your phone always on vibrate? He said, well, because, you know, I have notifications on my phone right. and, you know, for, for, if, you know, something happened, you know, like on an app, it'll go off and stuff. And I don't want you to have to keep on hearing it. Right. And I'm like, there's a way to silence that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that just bothered me so much and ate me up because he would always want to know who is that on your phone. And then when it came to his phone. So then finally. Right. So what happened? That's what I was about to say. So when you asked him, mm -hmm. hey, like, am I going to get a. Exactly. So this okay. So this is what happened. Okay. So finally, after that conversation, I said, <laughs> "These 
things need to change. Right. Your phone don't need to be on on silent or vibrate because I don't care if they go off at right. this point. Because right. honestly, I think you're doing something else now because mm. you mean you you have guilty actions. You got something right. going. It sounds like you something have something going on. And to be honest, there was nothing going on. Right. Because I finally got into his phone. Oh, <laughs> right. <You> remember. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So, so he was basically crazy and wanted you to think things like something. I know this person. He, yeah. So, um, yeah. I think he thought that I was the same person that he was um, in a relationship with before. <laughs> right, 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 right. Sorry. You know who you are. You know who you are. And if you're listening to this, I hope you are. Go to hell. Oh, son of a <laughs> bleep. Suck a dick. Yes. <laughs> but, Suck uh, a nigga dick for some trunk fit. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, anyway <laughs> anyway but at the end of the day it made me feel bad because i did all of this for him not even all i didn't do anything it's right. just like i thought things should naturally occur absolutely and um he made it into something like he just made it a big deal when like if he just would have been normal and acted normal and just had his phone on you know sound or whatever you call it right it wouldn't have turned into anything now let me ask you something was that the only thing he did or was there anything else um, like for instance, like for instance, um, oh my gosh, when I would look extra good, oh yes, when I would look extra good, um, he would always be like, <laughs> "Where are you going? What are you do? like? Where are you? Who are you trying to impress?" Right. And everything. And I'm not a conceited person. If you actually have seen my face before, right? I'm not a conceited person. I'm not the type to like. <laughs> I got it. Right. I'm not the type to actually like go and look in the mirror all the time but right. he was he was right i don't know why he was i don't know why either hmm but anyway. i mean i'm not gonna lie i know this person mm -hmm. and i've seen sam um usually you these days you don't see two fine people together someone always looks better looking than the other right and sam definitely i mean he was not ugly he was attractive he was attractive but i he mean was okay. right but i'm just saying like she's you know really pretty and stuff so if you see him you might be you know you guys y'all know how y'all are mm -hmm. you see the the other man oh mm -hmm. no, he ain't got nothing on me so i right. mean you know he was right. okay he was okay. for sam physical appearance. right exactly so i'm just like right now when i feel in my when i'm finally feeling myself which is not a a, a usual thing right. i'm in the i'm in the mirror just just freshening up on stuff and he's like, where are you going? And I like, starts to complain and it starts to make me feel bad. Like, oh, well, maybe I should take off a little bit of makeup or like put something different on. Let this nigga, let us be going somewhere. We went to go see Kevin Hart last year. Oh. The, um, the Let Me Ex not let I know me that explain. was good. Now, what now? Yeah. And we went up to New York and he like he was looking good but okay. like he knew he was looking good <laughs> and like he would say like oh let's take a picture together and this this and that but like i would tell him like oh you look good babe right and like he wouldn't say anything to me and i'm just mm. like i tell you you look good but you don't tell me i look good that's so weird exactly so that's what i mean by like non-reciprocated you got access to my phone normally it wouldn't be a big deal unless you made it a big deal for me not to have access right but because you have access to my phone and then like you're so big on being private with your shit, I feel like that's non-reciprocated. For me to compliment yeah. you and then when I look good, you make it make me feel like, oh, it's a bad but thing. But when that you I would compliment good. him, he wouldn't say anything. Yeah. That's exactly. weird. Yeah. And I'm like, that's First what time I'm about. hearing this one, guys. Mm -hmm. That's weird. I honestly think he might have been gay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Right. But and don't cut this I out. I do too. <laughs> I absolutely don't I actually you cut did this too. Out. I did too. He had some tendencies <laughs> and I that didn't were not normal. Excuse me. I don't want my man when we go out. Claire, let me take this selfie. Go ahead. If yep. a man said that shit to me, I'm not going to lie. Yep. I'm going to look at you cross-eyed because that is not cute. If right. anybody should be saying that, that's me. Right. Not you. Yep. You are a straight man right exactly and i just feel like y'all why why do y'all want to take selfies why so, so this is the question we have for you if you want to make a comment right how many straight men do you know take selfies right take selfies but try to look cute on the selfie like right. got like a sexy face on yes the selfie. please hit please us up on icloud and let us know because i want to know, know this because honestly me and my boyfriend would take pictures together yeah and he was he would be like oh take a let's take a picture and he would he would know he like he would feel like he felt you know look good and i'm <laughs> like okay and i would just look regular because we just went to the grocery store <laughs> and we would take a picture and literally he would say to me look at me i look cute 
I look fly. Look at you. <laughs> okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I just heard that for the first time. And did it not sound very corny? Right. What Samantha just said. Exactly. So let what us a clown. know. No, he self- was a clown. He oh was. Now I'm thinking about it. Let us know are the selfies. Is selfies men taking selfies like a feminine thing? I'm trying. I'm talking about selfies, not like you with your boys. You by yourself. You by yourself and with your girl. Do you feel that it's okay for a man to be like, "Hold up, babe. Hold up, babe. Put that phone in his right hand, right up, and take that selfie of him." Let me know because I want to know, and I want to know what the ladies think about this. So I want everyone to comment. And he was, and, and I'm not talking about like you with your homeboys and stuff like that. And you at a party, you like ah, making a silly face. Yeah, I don't know. no, not no. with everybody else. You trying to look sexy in right. the picture. Right. Let us know. Let us know. Hit us up. Go ahead, Leroy. I'm sorry. I had Is to that step. your real name? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I got to step in, but you guys sound extremely bitter, um, Samantha. Especially you. Um, <laughs> was that me? What does that mean? I said, was that Hello, me? Hello, was it me? <laughs> I'm just saying, just because a guy wants to take selfies does not necessarily mean that he's gay. When's the last time you took a selfie and you tried to look sexy? Right. I wouldn't post it online, but I'm pretty sure I've taken a selfie. The only time you need to look sexy in a selfie is when you're sending me a dick pic, nigga. You better make sure that <laughs> shit is big and hard. And that's sexy to me. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you know. That's my brother, y'all. That doesn't necessarily Albert. mean that he's gay. Oh, okay all right, all right. hold up we don't want to offend anyone being gay is not a bad thing it's if not and i'm on, very and liberal yes and if he's gay i just want him to tell me because honestly we could be still be friends right i have gay friends i mean you guys were having sex right yeah and i've wanted to have sex with one of my gay friends and they've turned me down <laughs> oh i tried so he must have been a fine brother he wasn't but we was just friends right he was so go ahead. Why do you think I sound bitter? You're going through a breakup, clearly. Now I'm going through a break. Now I'm going through a breakup. So- yes, guys, I'm going through a breakup. So if you want to take this as a podcast where I ring his ass out, then... <laughs> and that's why I say you sound bitter because, you know, it's just like... Uh- when you were with him, were you having these feelings about him being... I did, but I would always make, I would always make excuses because I always thought, like, you know, there were other attributes to balance it out. Well, like they what? didn't really balance it out, but like sometimes we would have fun together. He was good looking. Um, um, you know, he got along well with my family and stuff like that. And that means a lot to me. But like, um, you know, when it came to like, oh, you want to. OK, you want me to eat your ass out. OK, you, you know, <clears throat> you want me to eat your ass out. And I did it. I ate your ass out. <laughs> did you I, like it? I ate the it booty. Good? I've eaten booty before, a man's booty before. I, I've eaten some man's butts. You know, this is really difficult, me being your brother. <laughs> My brother knows everything about me, y'all. I we do, have a different relationship. But I don't necessarily relationship. know if I want to put this out there. To- no, you better not edit this shit out. Okay. Um, so you ate this man's So I ate his butt. ass out, but when... Hold up. Hold up. That that didn't... It raised an eyebrow, right. but it didn't... You know, I'm, I'm open to everything. I'm an open person. That's probably why, you know, he got so far. When he wiggled his ass in my face. When I was licking his booty hole. Oh, my God. So, you got to understand that, you know, sexuality is not black and white. You know? But he was black. <laughs> <laughs> he was black. What's wrong with being Well, white? clearly to you, he wasn't. He was black. I'm saying on the spectrum of sexuality, it's not either you're gay or you're straight. So, he was transient. He was bisexual. I don't know that. You had to ask him, but I'm just saying. I, I did ask him. I think I think it's a little naive to just think that just because he likes his butt eaten, I just wish, or he, he likes to take selfies. Me. That's a little. But looking real sexy in the selfies. You want him not to look. I want to look like a man. I mean, think about it. You, I don't want to picture your face. I need a picture of your guys. Dick his ass was gay. <laughs> think about it like this. You were attracted to him. I was attracted to him. But she didn't know this initially. She knew she was attracted to him initially. But I, she didn't know. Sometimes I it didn't takes know that years. He liked, Some, I know he liked to get his excuse ass me, eaten out. Go ahead. Excuse me. Go ahead. Sometimes it takes years for certain behaviors that may come out in someone that you're dating. So maybe initially when she <laughs> dated him, selfies, mm-hmm. hiding the phone, mm-hmm. these little things, she 
you know, like and it made me think, like, oh, what if he watched child porn? Right. Or oh what my if he's God. on a oh. gay chat line? I, and my son in like early two thousands. If he's on like a gay website, well, there like, still have gay, gay chat lines. And I mean, and that's okay. Well, that's that's, that says more about you than it does him. Then if you right. if you knew all these things and then you still dealt with them, right. if you thought these right. things, <laughs> what does that say about you? You know what? I think the reason why he was so open with me about like he liking to get his ass eaten, <laughs> he like fingers in his butt. Was it Harry? It, and the thing is, it was <laughs> not Harry. It wasn't Harry. He waxed it, you guys. He would shave his anus. But the thing is, okay, he like, shaved it. He didn't nair it. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I ain't never seen no air nair in his house. <laughs> but the thing is, is that. I think he felt so open doing this with me because he said I was the girlfriend that he could be himself with. Right. I think because I made him feel so comfortable. However, I made him so feel so comfortable that he weirded me out. Okay. Let me explain to you about, you know, sexuality in a sense. Even if you were to strap on a dildo and have sex with him <laughs> in his butt. I have had sex with him in his butt with my fingers. That doesn't Did you strap on a dildo? No. But that no. doesn't necessarily mean that he's gay. Does it not is, mean that. Okay. All right. It don't mean that he's gay. But you can't you can't knock me for for questioning him. Though. Sure, I've questioned Absolutely. him on several I occasions. Think you, right. you should always question. That. And Absolutely. I feel like it's not like she's been with other people where she was in a relationship where this shit came up. So right. obviously, if this is a relationship where you've never had these instincts, well, that's not and, necessarily true because she just said that she has done this before. I've eaten ass before, there you go. But, but that's because I've taken advantage of him because he was high. So oh my god, he liked it. <laughs> I am not a rapist. I'm sorry. <laughs> you better edit this shit out, though. You know what's going on? <laughs> you are a little fucking racist. A rapist. <laughs> I mean, rapist. I am not. Go ahead. So, Claire, I'm, I'm going to get off the well, mic. I but do have a story. The difference, I've been between, the difference between him and the new guy is, is that he ain't wiggle his ass in my face. He ain't like enjoy it, Joy. He liked it, but he was guilty about liking it. This guy was like spreading his cheeks. And wiggling his butt in my face. And let me tell you what it tastes like. Yo, okay, all right. Claire. No, no, no. Claire. Well, I do have a story about reciprocating. Go ahead, Claire. So I'm going to take it back, okay? So basically, <laughs> I dated a guy for years, fucking decades, mm -hmm. where he never ate my pussy. When I say year, like, it's been more than a decade. Go ahead. And the thing about it is, he used to always say to me, like, he just does not eat pussy. So I'm not used to this because other exes and men that I've dated, they eat the pussy. Sometimes they just want to eat the pussy and that's all they want to do. So I knew, right. like, I knew it wasn't me and I'm a clean person. Like, right. it's not me. But like, at the end of the day, I'm thinking, well, I'm sucking your dick, but why you're not you eating reciprocating? my pussy. And I went on for years making excuses about why this was okay for me to do and not, and not me receive. Right. We drunk, though. What? <laughs> I'm feeling drunk. Go ahead. Oh, well, I'm not, but I'm just saying like the, the, the I'm feeling another thing, but the problem, the problem is, is that I went on for years making this an excuse to my friends, my friends, like, and I really didn't tell anybody cause it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Like, why do you want my, my pussy? Huh? Like, it's like, I don't Did you know. ever ask him, why don't you eat my pussy? Well, I know that he liked it bald. Okay. And I mean, I, you shave and all that, but he wanted me to be waxed every day. Mm. And I feel like these are things that become selfish because being waxed like a baby's bottom 24 seven is not realistic. Right. Well, can I um, interject real quick? <laughs> Look at this Nick interjecting Nick. Go yes, ahead and interject. Interject. I will say, I think that that whole situation about you getting uh, kind of lingus, we're going to use that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, bad. I'm fellatio. No, no. I think it's cultural. Like I think even like, huh? It's cultural. So black guys don't eat pussy like That's that. That's not what I'm saying. But I think, uh, give me an example. When I was in high school, right. if you were found out that you did that, you were like. It was a bad thing. It was a bad thing. Okay. Whereas somebody in Charlotte who did that, they, they it was not a bad right. thing. Right. And like we had a girl at our school called Jawbone. Jawbone. Because <laughs> she was stuck on deck. Yeah. but in <laughs> Suck other, a nigga dick for some trunk fit. But, <laughs> but for other, other places, that's not necessarily seen as a bad thing. So you think because he was here and he probably but um, he been here all his damn I'm just saying, life. I just think because he may have been raised that that was a a bad thing. A bad. Thing. But I mean, but let me tell you if something. Dating them for more than ten years, you got at least. You I'm know, sorry. I don't feel. I that. just feel like it's you want your bit. dick sucked. You know, but Can, the pussy is he Jamaican? Like, fuck no, he's Jamaican. This nigga black. Because a lot of Jamaicans, that's the stereotype that they don't 
do that. But oh. he ain't black. He regular black. Yeah, I mean he is black. Right, he you were like black. he ain't black. He regular <laughs> black. I was like, oh, what? I got confused. He, he regular black. You know he's African American. Right. Actually, no. What is he? Well, you know African American. A lot of black people don't consider themselves that. I'm just saying. So what is he? He's black. Okay. Black and African American are two different things. All right. So he's a global nigga. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he he won with the world, I guess. I tried to explain this to this white dude I was dating that I am Dominican. I am Hispanic. That is my ethnicity. Okay. I'm Dominican, but my race is black because that's what I identify with. He fucking did not get. It. He was like, so you just told me you're Spanish, but now you're black. He did not get it. That's yeah. We're going off topic, but I mean, just we to got add to what we're saying, his, we got a cousin that's Dominican, but she's black. That's what I'm saying. It's what you yeah. identify with. Ethnicity and race are two different things. Am I Hispanic? Yes. Is that in my blood? Is that where I'm from? Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic? Yes. But I ident- my friends, me, myself, and I, we're all black. He just didn't get it. He thought <laughs> I was lying. Well, anyway, back to what we were talking about. My whole thing is, is that. You you want something from me. I, I mean, I feel like in a relationship, it should be an even exchange. But while I'm respecting, um, I guess, your preferences. However, for me, I don't like to get my pussy eaten. I'll throw that out. I don't. I, I feel like maybe I haven't met a guy that's eaten it right. It's a fine line that you have to walk between respecting their preferences and respecting like what I want. You know what right. I mean? Like, I would like for to get, if I did like that, I would say to him, like, well, I like to get my pussy eaten. You know, however, if you don't like to do that, can we compromise? You know what I mean? Can, can you just lick it once? <laughs> so let us know about what you think about Recip- non-reciprocated this favors. Is- because that's a big deal in a relationship. Because I feel like, okay, well, I'm doing you, you should do me. Or, like, I give you this uh, amount of freedom with my um, space, you should give me the same amount of freedom as well. Right. So let us know <laughs> what you think. Um, it doesn't have to be sexual. Like I said, it nope, could be we... with property. It could be with space. It could be with emotion. Right. You know, I open up with I open up to you about my childhood and growing up a, cer- a certain way. Why don't you open up to me about what happened with you? Guys, we really love you guys. Night. Right. Right. So just let us know. Um, comment and everything. Tell we us what you we'll think. We will comment this time because we're going to figure out what the password is again. Um, once, and username. Right. Exactly. And just remember, we are 50 Shades, Shades of Pig. Pig. We're under the working class if you can't find us. So let us know what you think. All right. Bye. Bye.